Haley is back now, and, and Haley, we're seeing the, the pictures and images uh, of just how severe some of this damage is. Yes, and some of our initial reports are going to be under what we're actually going to estimate leading into tomorrow. So when I say that, so far our wind reports have been over 70 miles per hour in Charlotte and Edgemont. Edgemont Park, but Grand Haven around 41. Radar indicated Chief Meteorologist Kevin Craig and I were able to see that some wind gusts were over 80 miles an hour, and that is what created the significant damage. On top of it, we are getting additional reports of roofs being collapsed, trees on homes and trees down over roadways. Even on I-96 closer to Williamston, cars were actually flipped on the highway. Some cars were even in the ditch, and Grand Ledge specifically, two to four inch limbs were down. Now, these are just initial reports. I know that there will be more to come leading into tomorrow. As of now, the good news is that all of our rain is moving out. Dry skies are on tap throughout the rest of the night, though it is still going to be warm and humid for the rest of the night in West Michigan. Our severe thunderstorm watch has subsided and now moved towards the east side of the state, and we picked up quite a bit of rain in addition to those strong winds. The strongest winds were primarily from Muskegon down towards Lansing, right along I-96, and that is where we had our heaviest rain as well, many locations over an inch of rainfall. As for those current temperatures, 76 degrees in Grand Rapids, 82 in Kalamazoo, and the lower 70s along the lakeshore. Winds are from the west and the north, ranging between 5 to about 10 miles per hour. Though when it comes to our dew point temperatures, those are still in the sticky zone, so we're feeling quite muggy leading into tonight. Tonight's overnight low will be 68 degrees in Grand Rapids, 72 in Kalamazoo. Throughout the day on Friday, plan on a mainly dry day, but a pop-up shower, maybe even a rumble of thunder possible, but no severe weather. Throughout the day on Friday, the best of rain will be late in the day. As for those temperatures tomorrow, you will feel a difference in the air. Temperatures will be slightly cooler, though again, that humidity will linger. A daytime high of 80 degrees in Grand Rapids, 82 in Kalamazoo. Friday does bring the chance of some early morning fog. All in all, for our Lake Michigan forecast, wave heights ranging between 1 to 3 feet. Our future track shows dry skies from here on out throughout the rest of the night. Throughout the day on Friday, late in the day, we could run into a stray shower, maybe even a passing thunderstorm, and that will linger into early Saturday, but most of our weekend will be completely dry. Plenty of sunshine and lower humidity. As we take a look at our overall chances of precipitation leading into our Tuesday, that's going to be our next best chance of a few pop-up showers. Thankfully, cooler air will be here leading into the weekend and especially next week, a little bit better taste of fall with daytime high temperatures in the lower 70s. A look at our Super 7 day shows a high of 76 on Saturday, mostly sunny skies, a chance of a pop-up shower possible on Tuesday with a high of 71. So we were dealing with scattered showers and thunderstorms today, but thankfully some calmer weather ahead of us for the rest of our week.